Well, it's uh, finally summer around here. You can see uh, it's much uh, nicer out here. This is not typical for Michigan, so I'm taking advantage of the day. I want to talk about my water injection system. It's actually, uh, you'll see a little, like one or two little goofy things that I've done to get it working for now, but I wanted to show you the basics of it. So here's my um, tank all you know set in. It's pretty solid. It's not going forward. It's not going backwards. It looks pretty tight back there, but this thing's not moving. This line, which if you watch it, runs to here, which I gotta get a fitting for. So the, the turbo is gonna pressurize that line. We'll run back through there, pressurizing the tank, which then sends water through that little water filter down through this line, and right here to this little stop gate called a solenoid. You can see the two power lines. We'll deal with power in a second. But that stops the water until it gets the go signal and it puts water into the nozzle. The nozzle doesn't work on water alone. It works kind of like a, a perfume bottle. And this line powers the, uh, the air side. So you got water and air meeting here too. So the injector injects water in, in the way we go. So what, it, what powers the solenoid and letting it, letting it go? Going over here, you've got those same two power lines. It's you know ground in 12 volts is what you're getting to. Um, ignore that line for a second. And what I've simply done is I've grounded it, and my power has uh, 12 volts coming in, and uh, this little uh, relay is based on boost pressure. It's 8 PSI for my system. When this line reaches 8 PSI, it allows these two lines to connect, giving it power, going back through here, and allowing water to go through. That's how simple this water injection system is, and I'll uh, update you guys when I get it all working.